This is the BioPack machine. This is where you'll be plugging in the sensors. This is where the sensors are plugged in into channel one, as you can see. Uh, begin by placing the sensor into channel one of the BioPack. Then proceed by placing the electrodes onto your forearm muscle. The positive end will go on the flexor carpi radialis, and the negative electrode will go further down. The ground electrode will go in a neutral position where there should be no no potential readings, like the elbow. Uh, begin by placing the positive red wire onto the positive end, positive electrode. Then place the negative electrode on the negative end and the neutral on the elbow. Once the hardware is set up, you can clench your fist to see the varying electropotentials in frequencies on your biopotential program. So first go to programs and find Biopack and click on Biopack Pro. Now we need to set up the electrodes. So go to MP3 file and set up channels. And click on presets and find EMG that has a notch. Now click on view or change parameters to create filters. You first make a band stop at 60 Hz to remove the AC noise. Then for the second filter, make a low pass that passes all the frequencies from 250 Hz. Then the third filter will have the high pass which passes frequencies from 20 Hertz. Now we're ready to measure the signals from the muscles. We do this by clenching fists and you can see the change in frequency as the signal progresses. Now we can uh, view the frequency by clicking on value on the top. We can select intervals with the changed uh, pointer. Now we're ready to calculate the median frequency of the signal. So first click on chart and it will show you this mode. Then go to display, auto scale horizontal to fit it to the whole graph. Then select the interval that you're interested in and click on transform and Fourier, fast Fourier transform, FFT. Then click OK. Next, click on Transform, Wave, Form Math, multiply channel 1 to channel 1, and click OK. And again, Auto Scale. Now you need to transform and then do an interval. Now click on auto scale again. And here do another transform. Go to waveform math. Now divide channel 2 to a constant k, which will be the highest value on the lower graph. This normalizes the graph. Now in order to find the median frequency, we have to change an indicator to the value form. And we're going to try to try to find a value that's closest to 0 0.5. And this will be the median. And the x value will show the frequency at that median. So this is your median frequency.